We now want to develop a program that draws a staircase which consists of a number of stairs that the user will indicate. Let's think about what the program should do. The first thing to do is to ask the user how many stairs the staircase should have and then draw that number of stairs. Hmm. Now that I think about it, if I had a stair procedure, everything would be much simpler. So our program in pseudocode could look like this. And how about that stair procedure? Here's the pseudocode for this one. So far, when designing the staircase program, we first thought at a higher level of our program, without going into detail about the drawing stair procedure. And then we focus on how to draw a stair. So we moved from the more general to the more specific aspects of our program. This is a very good strategy of software design. We first focus on the broader picture, the higher level of our programs, and then we work out the details. Good. Now that our program has been designed, we can carry on and implement it. Let's create a new project in Scratch. We'll create a new block for draw stair, but we don't define its body just now. We'll, we'll first implement the top-level algorithm for drawing a staircase, and we'll come back to the definition of this block right after that. Following our pseudocode, we'll first introduce a when green flag clicked block, and then we'll ask how many stairs the user wants. Finally, we'll repeat calling the draw stair procedure the number of times entered by the user. Good. Now let's define what the draw stair block does. Let's test our program. We'll first indicate three stairs. Excellent! We got a staircase of three stairs. Now let's test it for two stairs. Hmm. On the stage we now have five stairs rather than two. It seems that our program continues drawing the previous staircase. Let's correct this error by introducing a clear block at the beginning of our program. Let's test it again to see if it now works correctly. Oops! The cat is now off the stage on the top right corner. Why is that? It keeps drawing stairs from the point where it was placed before. So we'll add a go to block, setting it to minus 100, minus 100. We can also specify that the cat is hidden at the end of the program and shown at the beginning to make it easier to see the drawing. MIT, what would happen if the user gave a very large number of stairs? That's a very good question, Cody. Let's try it. As you can see, the staircase doesn't fit on the screen, so we can't see everything. Oops! And what can we do to avoid this? We could extend our program to make sure that the value entered by the user doesn't exceed the maximum number allowed. And if it does, the program should ask the user once again. Can you estimate how many stairs would fit? I'll give it a go. Great. See you later. So, what do you think is the maximum number of stairs that would fit on the stage? Have a think about it.